I'm the Executive Director of Mines Action Canada, the lead agency of the Landline and Cluster Munition Monitor Initiative. I'm part of the editorial board along with colleagues from Human Rights Watch, Norwegian People's Aid, Action and Armed Violence, and Handicap International. Cluster Munition Monitor 2010 is the first annual report providing an overview of the efforts to ban cluster munitions and the steps taken to uh, implement and universalize the Convention on Cluster Munitions. It includes reports on mine action, ban policy, victim assistance, casualties, and support for mine action. Cluster Mission Monitor 2010 reports that there are 108 signatories to the Convention on Cluster Munitions, of which 43 countries have ratified the treaty. The treaty was signed in December 2008 and entered into force on August 1, 2010. A very rapid entry into force, signaling the global support for this treaty. Of the countries that have signed and ratified, 38 of them are former users, stockpilers, and producers of the weapon. In the last six decades, 18 governments have used cluster munitions in 39 different locations. Since the treaty uh, opened for signature, there's only been one serious allegation of use. Cluster Munition Monitor reports that 74 countries are stockpiling cluster munitions. Of those, seven countries, states, parties, and signatories to the Convention on Cluster Munitions have already destroyed their stocks of almost 14 million submunitions, and 11 other countries are in the process of destroying their stockpiles. 34 states have developed or produced cluster munitions. Of those, 15 have signed or ratified the Convention on Cluster Munitions, and they will no longer produce the weapon and will stop production. And 17 countries still reserve the right or are producing cluster munitions. Cluster munition model reports that 23 countries and three other areas are currently contaminated with cluster munition remnants. Of these, five have joined the Convention on Cluster Munitions. Some of the most heavily contaminated countries are Laos, Lebanon, Iraq, and Cambodia. Albania and Zambia have already completed clearance of contaminated land um, years before their deadlines under the Convention of Cluster Munitions. Cluster Munition Monitor records at least 16,800 casualties worldwide to these weapons. We know that is under reporting. Many countries do not have systematic processes for gathering data. Many casualties go unreported. One of the values of Cluster Munition Monitor is it will encourage states to record data more systematically and more thoroughly and more comprehensively so we can get a much truer picture of the extent of the damage caused by the weapon. Because of the under-reporting and the unknown casualties, Cluster Munition Monitor estimates that Somewhere between 58,000 and 85,000 casualties have occurred around the world. Despite the lack of use in 2009, Cluster Munition Monitor has recorded 100 casualties in nine countries and one area. 27 states have survivor assistance programs in place. Most of these, though, face challenges in terms of economic inclusion and psychosocial support. Most states do not distinguish when they report on funding for mine action between landmines, cluster munitions, or other explosive remnants of war. However, the Cluster Munition Monitor has been able to determine that seven states have reported contributing over 13 million U.S. dollars in 2009 for stockpile destruction, clearance, universalization, victim assistance, 